DMX can be tricky, and depending on what you're shooting and how big the budget is, each project is always different. I'm gonna take you through two different levels. One of them is the iPhone slash Android using mode, and the other one is using a dedicated DMX unit. So first I'm gonna show you what I started out with and I'm sure a lot of people did as well and you might know this app yourself. So using your phone, your iPhone or your Android through an app to control your lights is a great way to get started depending on how many fixtures you need. If you're gonna need a lot of fixtures then a phone might not be the best choice. But if you're using a small amount of fixtures, sometimes a phone is a lot easier and easier to get uh, connected. A pretty basic app is called um, Citus Link. It is pretty decent, it's free, but it does have some quirk quirks as well and we'll get into those. Citus Link gives you control of um, lights. Usually they're better with Amaran or Aperture style lights because they're owned by the same company. They work better with Aperture lights usually. You can also try to get them to work with other lights, but sometimes there's some issues. And usually your light has to have CRMX built in into the unit or you have to have a TMO chip built into the unit as well. So you come into your sinus link here, make sure your Bluetooth is on. You got your projects that are stored here. If you want to add one, you click the plus and then create a new project. Then you click on project, you would hit the plus again and then go to new fixtures and this is where it would pop up with your fixture once your Bluetooth reset it. I don't have it set up now. I already have it in another folder so I'm going to open that one up. And this is where it takes a second for it to connect the first time pretty quick because this is a small panel you click on it right there it's called mc now you have control of everything you got your white balance intensity color control you, know, you got your gels you got your color for hsi there's a color picker mode there's a bunch of stuff in here that you can use and as you can see it's on the back of my bike there i'm just using it as a uh, basically a bike light at the moment because that's all they're pretty much good for works good for you know this kind of stuff where it's small anything bigger no i would not use it once you start getting to a lot it gets very bogged down and it keeps losing connection and a lot of times it'll ask you to bluetooth reset the light which you have to manually go to the light and bluetooth reset the light to get it to connect which can take a minute or so depending on how far your light is i really hate sidus link i don't like it for really anything unless it's like one or two lights that are aperture um, based. There is Citus Link Pro, which you do have to pay for, I believe, in the app. It's a little bit better. You do, you do need to use an iPad or a uh, Mac computer. I've had better times using the Pro than I did the, the regular, but they still have some quirks, both of them. So a better app that I like a lot more, it is subscription-based. It's $10 a month, but it's called Luminaire 4. It's got the sliders here, and I have it connected to my cream source back here. So I could bring up the intensity from right here, and it's going through Bluetooth connection. This app's a lot better. It's got a little more range as well. I can go about 75 feet uh, if it's outside, line of sight to for my vortex. Inside, I can do about 25 feet. And if it's through a wall, then um, it's usually only like 10 or 15 feet. Depends on how, if it's like a cinder block wall or if it's just a drywall. Now the thing with Luminaire 4 is it's not very good for effects or anything. If you wanted to do individual pixels on a light, it's not very good for that at all. It's mainly good for intensity and color temperature. So when you come in here, you got your intensity. I got it on just an RGB mode and I can come in and change using my XY or gels or a mix, depending on how you want to do it. And then if you come in here, you would come into connections, you go to Bluetooth there and then there's my light CSV8 and then telling you the Bluetooth signal as well. You can also use ArtNet and SACN on here. I haven't had much luck with it. I have used it with my um, Lumen Radio uh, Aurora box, I found using a different app for that is a lot better. But for Bluetooth, this is great. It does a lot. You can put a decent amount of lights on here without having it bogged down too much, as long as you're not using any crazy effects. Using an app on your phone is great because you can have it in your pocket if the DP is next to you and you know, oh, can we move, change that light real quick? You just whip it out and then hit it. It's good if you're in close range, but for something far distant, it's not the best. Now, similar to Luminaire 4, there's an app called Roscoe MyMix. It's a very, actually very easy app to use and it's free and it works, but you do have to use a Roscoe uh, fixture for it to connect usually. I'm sure there's a way to do it to, to connect to another one, but I just usually use Roscoe ones. And I'm using a Roscoe dash now to light myself from here, as you can see. And I'm using the app to control it. And I can bring up the intensity right here from my phone real quick. So you have your intensity there. You can either go to the keypad or you can just slide your finger, as you can see there, slide it up or down really nice. CCT and your green magenta. It's also got the gel mode, 
colors and effects all in here as well. So it's a great app. You do have to use, you know, a Roscoe product, but the, the Roscoe DMG Dash is really great for little practical lights or um, accent lighting. So apps are a great way to get started using a wireless CRMX, even if it's paid or unpaid, they both work okay depending on your project. But now let's get into the higher budget bracket of long distance CRMX and DMX. So here I have my, um, this is my Lumen Radio Aurora box, and this has a range up to 3,000 feet is what it says for line of sight outside. It's got a you know built-in V-mount so it can go all day or you can plug it into the AC unit, uh, AC wall power as well. This is where you can get into better apps where they're more complicated where you can start doing effects and doing pixels on each different pixel of a light if you wanted to. Now this is similar to, there's a unit from Aperture called the Citus 4, it's kind of similar. I think it has up, it has more uh, universes. This only has one universe um, on this unit. They do make one that's an eight universe. Um, it's called the Stardust. But Aperture makes a Citus 4 one, and it does pretty much the same thing. But um, I went with the Lumen Radio because Lumen Radio has the technology rights. They made the whole technology of CRMX. So I decided to stick with the brand that made the actual unit itself. So if you are using a higher brand DMX box, you're gonna have to get something like Blackout next. I highly recommend Blackout, it's very good. It is, um, you have to pay for it, but it's a one-time payment depending on how many universes you want. To get the basic model is about 600, 650 for the software and one universe. If you want to get unlimited universes, which is actually 256 universes is the max that they have, it's uh, $1,750 and then you're pretty much set for, for life at that point. Come into Blackout next here, as you can see. So if I come in here, I already have one, it's called testing. I have my vortex set up in there. You have three different um, different uh, bays on the bottom. You got fixtures, you got faders, and you got your patch bay where you would patch in your lights. And you can see your patches here. This is one universe up to 512. I'm currently using about 131 at the moment. You can come in and you can use Artnet, SACN, or you can use Bluetooth as well, except if you're using Bluetooth, they won't let you use effects on Bluetooth because they, uh, they have it locked that way because if you're using effects, you should be using something a little bit better than Bluetooth so they don't let you do that. I use SACN, it's worked great with the Lumen Radio Aurora box. I haven't had any problems yet. I have a whole video going over if you wanna see how to set up a Lumen Radio box or any kind of CRMX box into Blackout. I'll link that down below. And you can come in and then just quickly go to fixture control, change the intensity, color temperature, you can double tap. You can change the color here too, you can do X, Y. So it's, it's pretty much similar to Luminaire, it's similar to Sidus Link as well, but it's a lot better program and software. And it's much easier. All you do is open it, it's always connected. To change something takes seconds and then your DP's happy, and then the director's happy. A lot of times you're using those apps and it has to reconnect, and you're just down there looking at the iPad or whatever it is, and you look like you don't know what you're doing. You look like an idiot. You're like, what's going on? What's going on? And well, hold on, I'm waiting for it to connect, and then you look stupid. So it's always good to be fast, and if they want something done, boom, it's done. There's no waiting or anything like that. So again, depending on the project, sometimes I just roll with the iPhone, and if I'm just using a couple lights and it's right on my, you know, in my pocket, it's easy, it's small, get out. And then if I have more time, I bring the iPad with the box. Sometimes I clip it on me so it's on me, but if you're doing a lot of run and gunning uh, and you have that on you with the iPad, you know, it's flopping around. So it depends on the project each time. If you want to go small or big, it depends. If I'm doing something with a lot of effects, then I'm definitely going to want to use the Lumen Radio Box with the iPad because it's easier bigger screen, it's easier to actually go in and do stuff instead of using a very small iPhone. If I'm doing something outside that there's a light way up on the hill, then I'm gonna wanna use the, the Lumen Radio Box because the range is a lot better. If I'm using my iPhone, uh, it's not gonna work over 100 feet even if it's outside with Bluetooth, it just doesn't go that far. So I hope I gave you some ideas of how to set up your DMX platform based on the, what you're shooting and what type of project. If you guys have any questions about anything, drop a comment in the comment section. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. We'll see you next week.